Hey everyone, this is Andrew from Visions TV Online. I hope you are doing really well. Today, you know, I'm back again doing another interview for the International Gospel Su Summit, which is happening on the 2nd and 3rd of October. You know, if you've seen the other interviews and all the other artists that is coming from America, some people from Europe, they have just been so amazing and their interviews have been going so well. But today I've got somebody from the UK, guys. Oh my goodness. We got the legendary IDMC in the building, yo. Come on, UK in the building. Make some noise, make some noise, boy. <laughs> so we have Teresa and we've got John Fisher, the founder of IDMC. I, I believe they've been going around for about 25 years plus or more than that. Uh, uh, guys, they have been uh, uh, like a like a big trophy, an uh, anchor for gospel music in the in UK. And if you haven't heard of them, you need to Google them. You need to follow them on Facebook. You need to go on their Instagram pages. They have been championing gospel music for the UK for many, many years. And, and us in the UK, we salute you, John Fisher, and the IDMC crew in the Thank building. You. Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you. What a welcome. My God, man. I feel like special, man. It's right? honor when honor is due, you know? Like, come on, like, seriously, you guys have been such a, a trophy, a champion for us in the UK, and we... We honor you and we salute you, definitely. And you de definitely, this this welcoming that I've just given you guys is nothing that what you should be, you should be getting even more than what I've just given. What I've just given. So definitely keep on doing what you're doing. We support you at Visions TV Online. And yeah, and just tonight, we're going to be talking about the International Gospel Summit, which is happening on the 2nd and the 3rd. Guys, how did you even get involved with this event? Because last year they, they had an event called the, the Gospel Explosion Summit. And I know that I saw you guys then, um, like in, in the seminar sessions and etc. I believe that you were meant to be a part of it and somehow, so I you was part of the panel as well. Mm. Um, so how did you guys get involved with the whole summits, summit and the, and the international one? How did you get involved? Well, um, I've been a, a long time friend of Carol, Carol Crawford, who uh, put together the summit alongside uh, the assistants and the associates that she was working with last year. Yeah. And so one of the first artists that she communicated with was myself. Um, but we were quite busy doing a lot of shows around yeah. that time. So we couldn't commit straight off to being a part of the event. But I said to Carol, whatever I can do, I will be there for you. You know, Carol for years has been a great friend and a great supporter of myself and the choir as well. And so um, on one of the workshop days, I was able to get some time off. We had a show in the evening, but I got down there during the day to sit in and hear what was being said, uh, the panel debates, that kind of thing, which was really cool. And um, we just so happened that... Um, on the fr Friday, we had one of our club nights that we host. Uh, and we was able to invite all of the Americans up to it. Um, Carol came up there with a coach load. What was it, about 30 people or so, Teresa? That yeah, came up. It, was a lot. Um, it was a world of them. So when we, the venue was like halfway full and they came through the door and it just got packed. All of a sudden, this is a small room, but it was packed. And some of the guys... Um, performed on the night as well. So it was another little showcase that they had. And so we was just glad to, to be associated with the event last year. And this year, Carol said, for actually from the end of last year, Carol said, John, just put this date in your diary. You're going to be a part of it next year. <laughs> and so, and so um, we just tried to work out getting the choir across, number one. Um, and then there was a few issues there. And then COVID started to come in, um, unfortunately. And she said, okay, John, the choir can't come across, but can you come across? And I said, yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming this year, Carol. And it was looking good. And then unfortunately, the shutdown came in and the yeah. lockdown came in. And so she said, John, look, we can't do it the way we want to do it. 
but and then Teresa just came and says look we can still be a part of it we can do it virtually yeah. with you and so we are a part of the whole virtual um yeah. juggernaut that's going to be the the gospel summit uh, and yeah. I didn't see God willing, God willing will be a part of the performance. And I know that I've got to be a part of the, um, uh, one of the panels as well. So, you know, I'll have a few things to say. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> and Teresa, tell everybody your involvement with the IDMC choir. Tell everyone what you do behind the scenes. I do. I, I wear multiple coats. I <laughs> First, I joined the choir as one of the soprano singers. Um, and... Then I moved on to helping out with the promotion, which is my main role now. Um, and just getting the choir out there, booking events and stuff like that. Kind of part-time, kind of management type of thing. Um, right. Just looking for new opportunities for us as well. And recently I've kind of come into the role of assistant choir director as well, helping with the vocals and all of that. So multiple hats. Oh, that's amazing. So, so guess what, look, Teresa, you could tell us all the back information about John <laughs> and like you could just tell us the, the dirtiest secrets, what's going on. <laughs> so to, tell us, is, is John a hard person to work with? Is he a hard person to work with? No, he's like one of the best managers I've had to be honest. Um, John is very laid back. He's very, if anybody knows John, he's, he's so not about the pressure right now. <laughs> like, um, he knows what he wants to get done. He has a clear vision. And I think the team that we have works really well because we kind of, we have the same vision oh, uh, yeah. for ministry and for the choir. So it works well when all of us come together and like put our ideas together. It really is it, like a well-oiled machine, really. Um, Great. Uncle John tends to say that I push him a lot, <laughs> so it might be the other way around <laughs> rather than him it's, being mean. I'm the mean one, <laughs> it's, it's all lovely until I introduce a brand new song that's got an essay for words that they've got to learn and, and melodies that go all over the place, you know. So it's all lovey dovey, and then they all start to look at me with daggers in their eyes. And jump, <laughs> yeah. Not another essay, please. Come on, man. No, it's great. So you guys, you've got a new song, I believe that's called Joy. So tell us about that. How did that come about? My Joy um, is a really upbeat, enjoyable dance track. Um, with a little house um, flavour to it. Um, taken from Nehemiah, uh, chapter 8, where it talks about the joy of the Lord is our strength. And in our current climate, um, our people, our friends, our family, there's one thing that people are looking for is the reason to be happy. Um, we just got announcements again of a, a partial lockdown in England, yeah. Wales and, and Ireland and, and uh, Scotland as well. And so already people were just about coming out of the hibernation, just about coming out. Businesses were just about getting the stuff together again. And now we've heard this, the second spike about to hit. Um, and so people's hearts are, people have been in despair. People are feeling a bit long in the mouth and just wondering where do we go from here? Yeah. And so this song is really ideal from the point of view of encouraging people wherever they are in the world, because it's not only in England that people are suffering, yeah. It's all over the world. This 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 uh, virus is a world situation. Yeah. Uh, you know, they talk about uh, world changing events. COVID nineteen in twenty twenty is a world changing event. Yeah. Yeah. And um, if we can inspire people to have a reason to dance, a reason to smile, a reason to sing, this is the song that we put together to make that happen. Oh, amazing! So, where can people find that song? Um, it's all over all the streaming platforms, all the download platforms, they can get it. Um, the video is up on YouTube as well for them to stream. So go get the views up, subscribe to the channel. Um, if you haven't heard the song, as soon as you put it on, you're like having a block party in your house. Mm -hmm. So you have to go listen to the song. Buy the song. It's, it's amazing. Okay, guys. But guess what? I'm going to do something a little bit different right about now. Yeah. So you, I'm, I'm just going to give you a little challenge. Are you guys ready? <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> I'm putting you guys on the spot. So we're going to play a little game called Word Association. And you just need to sing a song which is associated with the word. And then 
And if you get it right, it could the word could be within the sentence, it could be in the chorus, bridge, whatsoever. But I just need you to sing it. Are you guys ready? Okay. Is is okay. this like is this IDMC songs? Is this a straight up gospel songs? Is it pop? Listen, is it what is it could be IDMC song, it could be any <laughs> gospel song, anything. So okay. you just sitting up now, I see him. Right. You getting ready? <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm ready to play. <laughs> All right, okay. cool. Here we go. Magnify. Oh, magnify the Lord. Magnify the Lord. Magnify the Lord. Magnify the Lord. <laughs> there was an old song said, Magnify the Lord. Magnify the Lord. Bring praises to his neck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cool. All right. All right. I'll give you that one. I'll give you that one. Let's see. Um, love. Love a word that comes and goes. But few people really know yeah. what it means to really love somebody. All right. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Uh, you, you're, you're getting. And who sang that? Kurt Franklin, right? Okay. But, yeah. but you did a version of that, didn't you? Right. Yeah, you did. I've done my yeah. homework. I'm doing my homework, guys. Uh, <laughs> Love it. All right, cool. Um, let's see another one. Only. Only you. Um, right. Here I am standing, but I'm looking all around, seeking but not finding someone who will understand in this place in time. We need some help from you. God sent his only son that we could be. Come on, Teresa. Be as one. And before me. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's before Teresa joined the choir. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, okay. Cool. I had, okay. I had only you will make other world seems right. Only you. That's what I got. Cool. That's that. Yeah, we, we could work with that. We could work with both of them. Uh, you guys, <laughs> you guys get me upset right about now. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, let me give you another one. Um, soul. Soul. Yeah. My soul loves Jesus. My so Jesus. I can't remember the guy's name. My soul says yes. Mm-hmm. 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 You know that word. My soul says yes. Come on. It's All right. Crying out. Go and say, say that, do that bit again. My, it's right here crying out. Right now mm-hmm. to give you praise. That's another IDMC track. There you go. There you go. All right, all right. You, you guys, you guys are quite good at this game, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> all right, maybe I'm because I'm just I am I am being a little bit. Uh, I, I am choosing songs that I'm, that some somehow relate to you guys. That's probably why. All okay. right, let's, let's let's give you another one. Um, let's give you another one. Never. Never too much, never too much, never too much, never too much. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> I've played drums to that today. <laughs> really? Was he playing drums? <laughs> yeah, I've got a gig in a couple of weeks' time and that's in the set. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, listen, I know you, you guys are really good about a good with this game. Um, tell me one thing that people don't know about John Fisher. Um, people may not well it depends on if they follow me on Facebook and our socials because I tend to put lay my life on the line but they may not know especially people in the states uh, part of the summit may not know that I just celebrated my 30th wedding anniversary with my wife Morley hey! Fisher um, so we, we were tender ages of like 24 when we got married that's why I look like I'm still 24 but with a white beard um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but yeah, just enjoying a, a great life with two grown children, twenty-seven-year-old son and a twenty-three-year-old 
second son and a three-year-old grandchild. Okay. Teresa, what shoe size are you? Whoa. Wow. Wow. I'm a size six. UK six. <laughs> UK size six. And John, what do you brush your teeth with in the morning? Woo! <laughs> I'm a I'm a Colgate man. Colgate, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, cool guys. Listen, thank you for being online with us tonight. Listen, you guys who's online with us, you know this is going to be a fantastic event, which is going to be a virtual event on the second and third of October, the International Music Gospel Summit, which is happening on the second and third of October. You do not want to miss it. It's going to be on Facebook, Instagram, and you, it's just going to be for you. You're just going to be lots of gospel artists, lots of, lots of singers, maybe rappers, maybe poetry singers. You just don't know, but it's going to go down. Yeah. So guess what? <laughs> I'm Andrew from Visions TV. We had John Fisher and Teresa from IDMC Choir. Whoop, whoop. Guess what? Make sure you, you follow them. Out. Can, tell, tell them where you can fo follow them on social media. So follow you guys on social media again. Tell them, tell yeah, them where yeah, they yeah. can find them. So uh, we're on Facebook on uh, IDMC Gospel UK. Teresa? Um, Instagram and Twitter and everywhere on at IDMC Gospel UK. We're on our website, IDMC, www.idmcgospel.com as well. Yeah. Uh, and basically, as I said, follow us on all of the mediums. You'll find us there, our music, uh, all of our singles and albums. We are currently getting ready for album number 10. Woo! Uh, we're working towards that. We've got nine albums plus singles galore, all sitting on there, ready for you to enjoy. Um, from My Joy to uh, Believe, Classical Believe, and a lovely reggae song, Reggae Time in the House called My Changes Come. So come find us. We'll be there. We're going to be hitting some of these songs at the summit as well. God bless you. Peace. You guys, you heard it all. Signing out. God bless you all.